So, Wednesday, rings off, glasses off, scales in position. Let's do it. Boo-boos. So, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Three pounds off. I am so happy. Like, so happy. That was a huge shock. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am back in the zone. I'm thoroughly enjoying being back on Swimming World and I'm thoroughly enjoying being back in the zone. My mindset is good. I'm just feeling pumped. Like, I am really enjoying my food and I've got a good relationship with it and I'm fitting the plan to my lifestyle and it doesn't feel a challenge or anything like that. I am just super happy, like really happy. Four weeks ago, um, I wasn't. I, I wasn't happy because I wasn't eating the food at that time which I knew was the best kind of food for me and it really made me feel a bit pants and coming to the back to Slimming World I was scared. I was scared of seeing what I weighed, seeing that I had to do this again um, and being a bit disheartened that I'd I'd allowed myself to put on that weight but you know what we're allowed to to go off track and we shouldn't be punished or made to feel being punished because these things can happen and the best thing we can do is trust in the plan again get back on it and just take baby steps like don't think of the whole plan just think of it as little baby steps and take each day as it comes each meal as it comes and all you can do is try your best and this week I've thoroughly tried my best. I've followed the plan to, to probably to a T. I've, I've enjoyed it and I've got my loss, which I'm not being funny, but I, I think I deserve. Um, and that's not being big headed because don't get me wrong, there's some times where you've worked your bum off and you've not got the loss which you think you deserve. And it's okay me saying like a loss is a loss because sometimes you think, yeah, but you're not in my shoes kind of thing. And I've been there, like I've completely been there where you were thinking that you want in two pound and you've got a pound and you're really devastated at it. And people are like, well, it's a loss, it's a loss. And as so much as like, yeah, yeah, it's a loss. You've worked your hopes up thinking, oh, I hope it's this. And um, yeah, I, I, we've all been there. And I just want to tell you that you're, I think you're all doing fantastic. Um, you've kept me updated of what how you're doing and look, and feeling. I'm loving the community on Summy World. I found some new lovely people like the Sinberries. I think they are the maze balls. If you're not following their channels, then please head over. Um, Michael and Craig, they will make your day so much more brighter. Um, I just love them. They're like they're like my cup of tea. Like a little bit sarcastic, a little bit funny, but really nice kind lads at the end of the day and honestly you won't be disappointed with their content also as well you've got emma i'll link her channel down below because i don't know it 100 um, percent i think it's emma at home but it's down below she's been amazing for um i've just loved her loved her food and what she does and um, she's really really honest and that's what i like and then my other little sweetheart is uh, martine i think that's how you say her name do apologize if i've just butchered your name i do that with sometimes but um, I am sorry, but she's been amazing. I love her channel. Um, yeah, and it's like, they're like the kind of three people I'm going to. Don't get me wrong, my Debster's there, my Tracy Mouse are there, um, but I think they're really well-known channels. Yeah, and Vicky's World as well. There's loads of people I could mention. They're just a really nice bunch of humans, as I would say. And I've just loved the plan. Um, as you probably know, if, you, if you're new around here, then hi, welcome. But I was never a breakfast lover, like I hated having breakfast. I would take the kids to school when the world was a little bit normal and um, go for a coffee with my friend and then by the time I come back, by the time I've gone like grocery shopping in my local town and come back, it was about half eleven. So then I would not have breakfast, I'd go straight into lunch and call it a brunch and then um, have my evening meal and then have loads of snacks on a night time which is fine if you if that's what you want to do and spend your sins at a night time that's cool and I used to do that as well but what I've loved is having a breakfast which has then filled me up 
all the way up till dinner time I've had a really good dinner and then I've had an afternoon snack which I didn't really normally used to do I had an afternoon snack which I've looked forward to and um, which gives me a little bit of energy to then and the willpower to make my tea because I don't like spending time in the kitchen, let's be honest. I then after my tea and it's all settled down, the kids are in sleep, um, that's my time. But because I'm using sins within my food, my sins on a night time are reduced and I like that because like I said, you adapt the plan to your lifestyle. But for me, I wanted to get out the habit of being sat down in front of the TV um, with a big plate of snacks. Um, if it works for you and you're getting the losses, then 100% carry on doing it. But for me, I just didn't like that kind of mindset that I could have this like plate f worth of food in front of me. Um, just because I've got sins left at the end of the day doesn't mean that I have to take them. Um, so I like to settle all the kids down and then think about how I'm feeling, what I want, um, and thinking, all oh, right, I've got this amount of sins, I'm actually fancying this, this and this. Um, and what I will do as well, if I have some fruit with my evening snack, I will eat the fruit first and then think, well, actually, do I want that chocolate or is it because I'm allowed to have that chocolate that I'm eating it? I know within Slimming World, you shouldn't mention calorie, calorie deficiency. Like I said, I've got a speech impediment, just bear with. Um, but end of day, that's the whole concept of losing weight is to be calorie deficient. Um, that's the only th time I want to talk about calories because we're doing Slimming World. Um, but I, I do, I am very conscious of thinking, well, actually, do I want that benefit bar? Um, or is, oh, I'll have my orange first. And if I feel full, then I won't have that benefit bar. I'll put that back kind of thing. And um, that's not depriving myself of anything because I'll tell you now, if I fancy it, I'll eat it. And if I fancy something else, and then I'll be more than happy to spend some more sins. But I just... I look at my speed food first, I'll eat that and then I will eat um, my my snack kind of thing. It's worked for me, I just feel it's the best option for me but like I said, the plan is there for you to adapt and um, this is just one way I adapt it. Don't get me wrong, in the beginning of my journey I would have treat bowls, I was quite well known for my treat bowls um, and I absolutely loved them. My treat bowls would probably be about 10 sins worth but as time's gone on I've really stepped away from that treat, that sin bowl um, kind of philosophy um, and just just been a little bit more sensible um, for myself because um, I want it to be a healthy, a healthy lifestyle. Just because I can doesn't mean that I should. Um, and also as well, this week I felt more like Rachel. I have really, really felt comfortable in my own skin. I'm not 100% there or anything like that, but I felt more comfortable in my skin as well. Also as well, I had a pair of pyjamas which were tight on me. And they feel a little bit more comfortable now um, so win-win indeed that is a non-scale victory I am looking for also as well I have like gone away from like the joggy bottoms and the elasticated bands that is for sure and I'm wearing my jeans um, and that is just a little reminder of me that they are a little bit tight on me but we're going to do it because that little reminder on my waist is keeping me focused because I want to be able to feel really comfortable in my jeans because when five o'clock comes, I can't wait to take them off. Obviously, this Wednesday is the hottest day of the year, so I'm not wearing jeans, oh no, no, no. And I've only put this on so I don't look like really naked on top, but I'm wearing a little summer dress. Um, but mainly, I've been wearing jeans to keep me focused. And I've had a wonderful week. I can't say anything more. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I hope you've had a good week on plan. Yeah, and if you do want in some inspiration, then please check out those channels I, do, I did mention because you won't be disappointed. They are amazing humans. And let, and let them know that I've sent you over. Um, and yeah, they're just amazing humans. Take care, food optimised, and sending huge positive thoughts. Rachel, bye.